my third takeaway is the Texas quarterback, Quinn Ewers. Put him in the Heisman conversation. Statistically, he's up there with everybody. Colorado State, 52-0. Colorado State is not going to be a playoff team. They typically have a middle of the road team year in and year out. So that was by no means that's not a that's not a bottom feeder. But yet 74.1 completion percentage, 20 out of 27, 260 yards. You look at his his 184.2 passing rate. You look at what he did against 10th ranked Michigan. One of the le- one of the things we learned from that game Darren is that Michigan was probably overrated. Absolutely. But that's the national media trying to to put people in, in certain positions. And that's why we play the game, because the polls can only be trusted up to a point. We played the game. Texas went in there and destroyed Michigan. Uh, Ewers, 24 of 36 for 246 yards, 66.7 completion percentage, three touchdown passes, no interceptions. Uh, 151.6 passing rate, 89.6 QBR. That was a tough place to play. And yeah. Ewers, the guy comes across unflappable. I, I remember thinking last year in Tuscaloosa how he handled himself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This guy, he, he has reached a point where he can go into hostile environments and it doesn't seem to to face him at all. And that's that's a level that few players can get to, especially at the quarterback position where there's such a big spotlight and so much pressure. It, it, you know, I think you make a fantastic point, and let me be the first to say that if if there is a Heisman campaign that Texas initiates, I, I would be the first to nominate you as the campaign chair. I think you would do a, a <laughs> magnificent job in, in running the, the Ewers for uh, Heisman g- campaign, but you know, to me, the, the strongest point you made there is the fact that when you look at the last two years, uh, he has lived under the pressure of being the Texas starting QB. Having the most talked about quarterback recruit in the country standing on the sidelines, staring at him in Arch Manning, and did it not only at Texas in home games, but in road wins in venues like Tuscaloosa and the big house. I, it's very, very, that's a great point. Some very, very impressive stuff. 